I just wanted to give an update on why this is my YouTube channel now and not Callie's. So I just thought it'd be nice to chat about it. So yesterday, Callie and I decided that she would take the Instagram and I would take the YouTube. So if you're new here, <laughs> let me give you some context. <laughs> Callie is my best friend from high school. And when we both graduated college, we decided to create a joint Instagram and a joint YouTube account together. Um, it was called Taking 20 Something. And we've been doing the Instagram for about two years and the YouTube for maybe like six months. Yesterday, we decided to kind of part ways with that. And everyone keeps thinking that like something happened between us. Like everyone uh, has been texting me, has been texting her and uh, thinks that there's like a ton of tea around this. Basically what happened was my whole goal was always to do YouTube. Like I've always been into YouTube. I've always been into videos. If you know me, you know that videos are my basically my personality trait. My poor friends have been dealing with me taking videos of them for years and years. To be honest, I just didn't have the confidence to start my own YouTube channel back in the day. I've been wanting to do one probably since high school and I just have always cared too much about what people thought or um, just didn't really feel like I was interesting enough, things like that. Callie has been that same way, except about like a clothing, beauty Instagram. So that's her thing. Obviously we have similar interests and you know, I'm into that stuff too, but if you know her, you know that people are constantly asking her like, where's her outfit from? Like how'd she do her makeup? All of these things related to that niche. So because like we're so similar and like we are best friends and we spend so much time together, we just thought, you know, let's do it together. So that's what we did for the past year and a half, two years. And it was so much fun. Like I don't think I'd have the confidence to like make this my own YouTube channel if I didn't start out doing that with her. And same thing with her, like, I know that both of us feel like we've come into our own the past year and a half. So basically like all it was is it was just like a quick conversation. Like we had previously talked about potentially going our separate ways a few months back, but that was kind of the extent of the conversation. Like it wasn't, nothing came from it. And then yesterday we were just kind of talking about like planning content and what videos we want to do coming up and things like that. And we just kind of concluded that, you know what, she wants to kind of explore her interests a little bit more. I want to explore my interests a little bit more. And it was honestly like a five minute conversation. We were both so aligned about it that it just, it wasn't even, I was like, oh, like can I have the YouTube, you take the Instagram. And it was like, yeah, great. Like, <laughs> and that was really the extent of it. Obviously like I'm gonna miss it. I think it's a little bittersweet to not be able to like have that shared Instagram account we have and not be able to work together as much. But I think that this will be a good thing for both of us to really lean into what we're about. You know, I love video editing. I had been editing most of our videos anyways, clothing and beauty and all that, like I said, is hers. So yeah, I mean, I want to be like so clear, like there's literally no tea between me and Callie. Like she was my best friend before we did this joint account together. She'll be my best friend, you know, for years to come. So literally we're on great terms. Like we text all day every day we call each other all day every day it was so amicable like i'm so excited to make this youtube channel my own like i said youtube was always what i was super passionate about so yeah that's really the like what happened there i know that people don't really believe that there's no tea but there's no tea anyways follow her on instagram i think that she's gonna be doing such great things and I'm really excited for everything she's going to accomplish can't turn the heat good out of the you say what is that? It's a song, right? Yeah, if you can't you know, stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. It's just a quote. No, I'm pretty sure it's in a, it's in like a ludicrous song. If you can't take the heat, then get the fuck out the kitchen. You clearly were uncultured as a middle schooler. Are you probably sad music What? Sorry. Are you sad? No, I was playing like sad music. Because I can turn this off and <laughs> really talk about it. No. Okay. I'll check it on her later, don't you worry. <laughs> Tonight we are going to be making cauliflower orange chicken. One of my friends actually posted on Instagram that she made it, so it looked really good. And I am always looking for new healthy recipes that are easy to do because I'm not a great cook. So that's what we're trying today. This is a lot more ingredients than we usually use. Making pesto pasta because it's very ambitious for you to let me cook something this complex. Okay, we don't have a three fourths cup for some reason. Fourth teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon. 
Do you remember when I got this wrong? I mixed up tablespoon and teaspoon. I thought they were the same thing when we were making those Trader Joe's cookies. And I put so much vanilla, because I think it was like one teaspoon and I put a tablespoon. Oh, look at this. It looks like a normal recipe. Guys, look. I haven't messed up yet. Put it into the wet batter, toss it, and then roll it into the breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay. You're gonna make us play a song that's gonna make me cry? I'll play it later. Why? You wanna make me cry? I have to just stay on accident. <laughs> you cry today? No, I listened to the song on accident. Clearly Emma's not doing well tonight. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say Emma is taking the role of YouTube boyfriend, <laughs> but it just took her like three times to like actually record me talking. No, so. your phone was lagging. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna. Maybe you should get a real camera. I. <laughs> it's like pancake butter. <laughs> Wait, so we don't have coconut sugar? No, we just use honey instead. You don't want you don't want to use cane sugar that we have in the pantry? No, because cane sugar is poison to your body. <laughs> like actually, I don't even know why we have it. And it's also the biggest ager behind sun. So I can drink sugar. alcohol. I just can't eat sugar or, or be in the sun. Sugar. In uh. it. So cocktails are a little sketch sometimes. Is that why you consistently drink beer? Yeah, beer also has sugar in it, I think. Yeah, That's well. like natural. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> this is like appropriate to say, but what? actually cheese uh, activates the same like neuroceptors in your brain as meth does. Cheese does? Mm -hmm. Is that why I get addicted to cheese and why I can't stop eating? That's why it's highly addictive. Oh. It's like as addictive as some really hardcore drugs. <clears throat> And that's Emma's TED Hold talk it. on health. Yeah. <laughs> I'm vlogging this specifically because most of my friends don't believe that I like cook. They think that Emma makes everything in this house. And I'm here to, yes, but like I used to, like in college, I used to buy food like every single day. Like I never cooked, I didn't know how to cook. So they just, they don't believe that I'm as domestic as I am these days. Just so we're all aware. Okay, so I've breaded most of the cauliflower and then Emma has the sauce simmering over here. This needs to go in the oven for like 30 minutes, but tell us about your substitutions on the sauce, Emma. I'm using flaxseed meal instead of cornstarch. Health. And, and then the honey, right? Honey instead of, thought I had coconut sugar, but we don't. So you're gonna use honey instead. So this is like the breaded cauliflower, got kind of toasty. Mm. Okay, it does look mm. like orange chicken. The sauce is really good. Really? Yeah. All right, I just tried it, it's really good. Emma, you need to try yours. Okay. Really switching, we always eat the same thing, it's just because it's easy and like we're in a routine, but this is gonna switch things up a little bit. It actually looks like chicken, like the texture of it. Weirdly looks like chicken. <laughs> okay, Alex, you have to try, you have to try this chicken we made. Is it real chicken? It's yeah. chicken. Real chicken. It's chicken. Like a real animal. <laughs> yeah, like really get it up in the sauce. There you go. Eat it. <laughs> Chicken. Yes, it's chicken. <laughs> Eat our chicken. I'm not an idiot. It's organic chicken. <laughs> it's organic. That's why it looks like that. I'm not an idiot. <sighs> Poor man's pan express. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like it? I like the, those flavors, but you know it's not chicken. It's Alex broccoli. doesn't like vegetables, so we have to broccoli. trick him into it's cauliflower. <laughs> Same family. So I'm gonna go to my favorite window to film this because I love the lighting over here, but I posted a video recently about my trial experience at 45 and 
kind of my process of finding a gym that works for me in the city. So I did actually end up joining Equinox the other day and it's like right up the street from me. So convenience was like there between that, the classes that they offer, the amenities and like the actual gym space. It just made sense for me. And with all those perks, I was able to justify it to myself. So that's kind of where I ended up joining. I am on my way to a class actually. I'm going to, I think it's called Best Ass and Abs. So it's like an ass and abs class. The other day I went to like a 6 a.m. class and it was Metcon, which is metabolic, metabolic conditionings. And I literally ended up burning like 300 something calories before 7 a.m. So that was insane. I'm, this class will be different because it's just a different type of class, but if I do that, I'll be super fit. Anyways, we'll see how confident I feel in like recording myself. And I know it's not my strong suit is like setting up a camera in the gym, but We'll see what I can do. That was really hard. Um, that just like burned. Like I like ab exercises. Legs are just, I, I can't do them for extended periods of time, but yeah, to be determined if I'm able to walk tomorrow. The class was mostly, hold on. Okay, nothing broke. The class was like 28 women and like two men. And then there was like a male instructor. But shout out to the men who are not too good for these classes, let me tell you. The Equinox location that I go to used to be a historic movie theater. So you can see in like some of the clips from the class that it still has some of those like features of the old movie theater, um, which is really, really cool. Maybe I'll take you guys, like give you an in-depth experience at some point. But today was just the workout studio. I'm still trying to figure out my new posting schedule. I'm thinking, of posting like Sundays and Wednesdays. So let me know what you think. I think I wanna do two videos a week. I think now that I'm not, you know, talking half on Instagram, talking half on YouTube, I think just, I think two videos a week will be manageable. So anyways, that's just my current thought process. I need to make food. So thank you guys for watching this vlog and make sure to subscribe.